right, no need for an intro. We about to hop right into it. Kratos posted this message and it reads as this. Have enough opportunities right here in Trinidad. If a person invests time in their self, simple thing like vlogging, if two or three person people make a platform for that and set up their account the right way and be consistent, they will reap money from their platform. Facts, bro. That's complete facts. But a lot of y'all told me that nobody in Trinidad wants to start this shit because they know the backlash that they may get and they don't feel like it's a safe place for them to be able to do that in their home country. You dig what I'm saying? So that's the only thing that's preventing a lot of y'all from doing this shit. Anyone could do this shit. And I completely agree that someone in Trinidad should start this shit. They have more access to any and everything. You can actually go out, talk, talk to the artists. Y'all could do any and everything out there. The same shit me and TBK doing, but a lot more better. And some of y'all have hit me up and said they want y'all want to start a YouTube channel and shit like that, bro. And I encourage y'all, bro. I done sent y'all tips, tricks on how to start the shit, what software to use, how to do it. Bro, anybody could do it, my nigga. I want to see y'all do the shit. Now, as I read, most content people away using is from us in our culture. And if they say they don't reap, they're lying because YouTube pays, especially when your shit is monetized. And I sure not one could say they doing it out of love when they say their shit is monetized. Bro, the whole monetization shit. I've been monetized on YouTube for a year now. And I have not been paid collectively over a year to even pay a car payment, my nigga. The money that I get from YouTube is literally chump change. If I stop doing YouTube right now, nothing in my life will change. Monetary, physically, mentally, emotionally, Nothing would change if I stopped doing YouTube, bro. I could barely pay a phone bill with the shit I get from YouTube. And I actually have started a vlog that y'all will get later this week. And I expose how I make money behind the fucking camera. Because this isn't... This is not my source of income whatsoever. I literally do this shit out of fucking love. And you want to know how I do this shit out of love? When I started this channel, I was reacting to American artists, UK artists, Korean K-pop artists. Trinidad artists, all of them. But Trinidad was the only one that kept my fucking attention. K-pop paid me way more than the Trinidad videos. K-pop was the one I was really starting to make money off of, but I found no fucking interest in it. I couldn't gather myself to keep doing them videos, so I just let it be, you feel me? I don't give a fuck about the views, the money, none of that shit. And for Kratos to say, I don't know if he meant this message to me personally, but I'm gonna just speak on this shit. For him to say, Motherfuckers not doing this shit out of love is fucking crazy. Because Kratos was the one that was sending me his music. Telling me, oh, you gonna be the first person to interview me. Saying all this shit, but as soon as I dropped that video, I think I said it in the Prince Swanee. I was like, yo, I'm not reacting to that new Kratos song, Dead Toki Body, or whatever the case may be. And now it's a problem. When I say I'm not about to react to one of your songs, bro, I get copyrighted every fucking video reacting to music on YouTube. You think I'm really making that much money to think I'm not doing this shit out of fucking love? I react to my subscribers' music for free. It's niggas out there that will charge a fucking arm and a leg to react to your shit. And with that being said, this goes for any other artist as well. If you think I'm not doing this shit out of love, then fuck it. I will never react to one of your songs ever fucking again. Your name will never be brought up on this platform ever again. And it's just gonna be like that. And he continued to say, we can interview our artists right here in Trinidad and put out content. Give those who don't have a voice to showcase themselves. That's what the fuck this channel is for. You dig what I'm saying? But he's right. He's right. Y'all can do all of this in Trinidad. But that's what I'm, bro, I, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help y'all showcase y'all shit. I'm sitting here putting American people onto y'all fucking music. I'm trying Trinidadian food with people that never even heard of the shit that we was eating before. So with that being said, I hope somebody take Kratos' first part of his message and really do something with that shit. Go out there, start this shit. Somebody start a YouTube channel right fucking now. Pick your phone up. You don't need a camera. You don't need a high-tech camera, none of that. Pick your phone up and start vlogging right now. Going through Trinidad. Bro, come on now. You're already in Trinidad. Just start the shit. You dig what I'm saying? But that's all I had to say. You feel me? If anybody else think I'm not doing this shit out of love, then fuck you. You dig what I'm saying? You will never be on this channel ever fucking again. And that's just how it's going to be. You dig what I'm saying? But this is the end of this, and I'm out this bitch.